Hey yo, what's good? It's your favorite Straw Hat Nico. Talking about Golem Hearts, the new series, the one shot. I love that. I was like, who this is straight fire, bro? But here's the way I see it now. The one shot was basically should have been chapter one. And what we saw in the first chapter, it should have been the one shot. Let me explain. The one shot feels like we saw exactly what happened to Noah, the golem who's basically like a human and how he's trying to get his goal of being the second best sorcerer in the world after the person he thinks is supposed to be number one. And I was like, okay, I see how he is and why he's doing the current stuff he's doing. But we didn't know why till this first chapter basically gave us his backstory explaining how Noah became the way he is and the person he looks up to, his master. His master is kind of incompetent. It's like he has all this talent. He can do this cool thing called golem arts, but the problem is he's not really that sensational. It's like he messes up more times than he does actual good stuff, makes actual success. So for every 10 failures, he has like one success. That's how it looks. But for some reason, no matter what, he doesn't want to give on Noah. He doesn't want to just say, hey, Noah, you're different. I don't like you. It's more, we learned that Noah's similar to his master. Noah wants to help people. He's not good at it. Every time he tries to help, he makes things worse. But for whatever reason, he's always smiling and he's trying to be his best. But it's getting to him that, yeah, a lot of towns people don't like him because they think the way golems are just tools. They're not supposed to be like humans because the majority of the golems in this world, that's all they are, tools to help make lives easier for humans. So when they break, it kind of ruins, you know, the quality of life, which I understand a lot. What made me upset was just, okay, I get it. To a lot of people, golem means, oh, you're just a helping tool. You don't have emotions. You can't be a person. But if you see Noah, and you see this professor really cares about him. Why y'all being this way? Y'all and your feelings. But I understand the context based on what we've seen so far. If I'm in a town and everything I know is... A, if all I know in the town is golems are tools, just objects, that's how I treat them. But I think the fact of how Noah is, that's what's throwing everyone off. They're like, you're not really a human, but you're a golem that acts like a human. It's weird. We don't like it. So towards later half of the chapter, people wanted Noah to go away. Or at least act like a regular golem. But the professor is saying, no, he's my son. I understand how you feel, but how would you feel? Someone told you your son's useless, your daughter's useless, and they got to go because they don't fit in with the town and make everyone uncomfortable. You would hate that, right? If it means my life, I'll do what it takes to keep Noah safe. You understand? That's what happened. They understand with this evil dude. His thing was he wanted to use golems for evil and kidnap some townspeople just because he could. I don't know his real motivation. So it turns out that Noah and the professor, they had to save the day. But before that, we learned that, okay, the professor basically taught Noah everything he knew. He was saying, Noah, I understand that you're a golem. But everything I'm doing is to give us a better quality of life. Because professor and Noah, it's like, the town there is not poor, but it's like they're like barely surviving. Because the town relies on the professor because he can fix golems with his golem art. But he's not the best, so it's like a very interesting struggle. Y'all dig? So what the professor trying to tell Noah is, I get it. People think you're a golem, and golems have to be a certain way. But I'm telling you, be who you want to be, bro. You know? Just do you. I understand the situation you're in, how you feel. But I'm telling you, smile. I understand golems not supposed to have emotions, but you have them for a reason. And you'll feel better when you smile, so smile. I want a nice quality of life. You know, food to eat riches, everything you could possibly want to live comfortable. You have to work hard for it. So for that reason, I want to be the number one scholar, I think he was saying. And then Noah was saying, I'll be number one scholar too. And then he was like, no, that's not how it works. There can only be one best. So he said, I'll be the second best scholar. And that's how everything played out. So using Golem Arts, the professor and Noah saved the day. The problem is the way the professor is, he's kind of wacky. So he did save the child that got kidnapped by this evil dude. But where he messed up was he didn't think about how to land with Noah. And he's still trying to figure out how to do stuff. So he's like, hey, hi, I saved the day. Everyone's, you know, finally complimenting him, saying you're so sensational, you're amazing, all this nice stuff. And some girl's like, hey, fix my golem. And then he messed up again where it's like, hey, I can fix it. And then it shrinks. And that's how the chapter ended. And I like the series. It's a pretty cool concept. And I like how it has a good amount of comedy, it has cool powers. It feels like, in a way, everyone in the town is normal, but not really normal, so it flows well. 
it's like we just got the backstory so it's kind of weird so imagine you're enjoying a series like it's a one shot and then everything in the one shot was based like a time skip and they start off with the very beginning it would be weird right so that's what i'm saying it would flow better if the way it played out the one shot had a little bit of backstory and then you'll transition to Noah being all grown up. Then I would understand everything. But honestly, I'm excited for the series. And I wish they reversed the role so it'd be more enjoyable for new people. So they'd be like, oh, that's who the professor is. That's why Noah acts this way. That oh, there's Noah grown up. That's why he's this way now. It would flow better, but it's nothing in Gaka. I'm just saying how I see it. Oh, the colors has cool designs and I'm just excited bro to see this series become something great. I hope it's one of those series that lasts a good amount of time. So if it has like 200 chapters, happy with it. If it has like 300, cool. I just want an interesting series because my thing is a lot of series about magic, I don't normally touch them because you know magic is like, it's a weird thing. But this one makes it interesting. It feels like it's easy to understand the concepts going on and it just walks you through it. It's not just throwing stuff on you and saying here you go, figure it out for yourself. So if you haven't already, I recommend you check out Golden Heart. Before you do that, read the one shot, then read the first chapter. It's the best way to do things. But hey, what are your thoughts on it based on what you heard? Do you want to check it out? Don't you want to check it out? What's good with you? That's everything I wanted to say, so you know what to do. King Kong on like button. Subscribe, join my Strike fleet. Share your favorite social medias. Join my Discord. If you want to back from there, you got a Patreon. Follow me on Twitter, you're good to go. Thank you so much for watching. I can say so much more, but my crew needs me.